Countryside Mobility works in partnership with outdoor visitor attractions to enable people with limited mobility to enjoy easy access on equal terms. The not-for-profit scheme was established in 2010 with big lottery funding through Natural England's Access to Nature grant scheme. Countryside Mobility supplies electric all-terrain mobility scooters that enable people to safely explore rough terrain and places that would otherwise be inaccessible. Thousands of people have benefited from the scheme. Here's what a few of our partners had to say. Dilson's such a fantastic place and we wanted it to be available for as many people as possible to explore really and the, uh, the trampers which we have through the Countryside Mobility Scheme are just a brilliant way for people to get around, enjoy the site, go bird watching and uh, enjoy all the great things we've got to offer here. Being part of the scheme is very easy, it's easy to actually um, book people, uh, to, to uh, induct people onto the scheme, it doesn't take very long to do, it's very easy for visitors to, to use so I wouldn't be worried about that either, yeah, it's just, just an easy scheme to, to get involved with. Countryside Mobility are very easy to work with, um, the whole process uh, is just no trouble at all. The vehicles themselves are incredibly well made so the knocks and bumps that they get as they go around the site don't seem to have any effect particularly but when something does happen Countryside Mobility um, are there immediately to help you so um, it's just kind of almost a no-brainer really um, to have that kind of backup behind you and it takes all the risk out of um, hiring them out or the insurances are there for you um, so kind of all of the reservations I had about having mobility vehicles on site were completely um, taken care of by Countryside Mobility so it really enabled us to move forward very quickly um, into, into the situation we are now. I'm actually involved in the steering group and Holden was one of the first sites to be involved. At the time um, we had an enormous amount of support through the scheme which enabled us to have it up and running on site quite quickly and very easily. Well it's helped us to, um, it's helped us to advertise our site a bit more, raise the profile of the site both in Portlevin and, and in Helston uh, and also more widely in Cornwall um, and it's, it's helped us to kind of show that if you like, then the, the National Trust really does care for people with you know, limited mobility, and we do care, and we want to show that through um, the provision that we offer. If another site was thinking about using countryside mobility, I would say go for it. For us, it has given us so many benefits. The amount of users that are able to access the site now has increased, and the expanse of area that they are able to access has increased. It's the feedback from, from visitors, both local users and holiday makers has been probably the most rewarding um, aspect of the, the, the scheme for, from, from my point of view. It's fantastic to see families going around and, and particularly then where members of the family who haven't been able to walk around with the family group uh, have been able to go around with the tramper and uh, that you know is, is, is fantastic really. We have a very positive uh, feedback. Sometimes people are concerned uh, about the use of the tramper, how user friendly it is and they are always pleasantly surprised how easy to use the tramper and how lovely the scenery up here on Bodmin Moor. Certainly uh, people have um, verbalised that they have visited because we have the trampers available. Um, people have joined the RHS as members because they now feel that they can um, get a better, better value from their membership whilst they're here. Um, and so yeah, I mean it's been, it's been a huge advantage um, to us to have them and the feedback from our visitors is um, sort of overwhelmingly positive. Um, so we're, we're delighted to have them. If you're with somebody who's got mobility problems you're not going to want to leave them to go and see a bit of the site that they can't see. So it's not just the person in the tramper that's, that's pleased, it's also the group of people or the person that they're with that can get around everywhere. I think it's really just helped a lot of new people enjoy the site, um, spend more time here and uh, really get to know the wildlife. People who use it, they think it's fantastic really because it just allows them to sort of get out to places where they can't normally um, which isn't always accessible to them, makes them see some beautiful spots. I mean, like the view that we've got over here, for example. Um, yeah, there's, there's amazing things to see, and it just makes people sort of, gives them a little bit of freedom to, to get out and about and see, see more of the countryside. It's sort of really united generations of you know, families, so we've had you know, great-grandparents and great-grandchildren all going out together for a walk. It, it, it enables people to go out as a family again, rather than either not going at all or one member of the family being stuck in the car. 
it's, it's been a, an asset to the business and uh, continues to be. I'd recommend it uh, wholeheartedly. It's an absolutely brilliant scheme and uh, the more sites sign up to it, the better.